Hi everyone, it is Sunday the 2nd of August and it is 7 o'clock in the evening. Well, I've got quite a lot to get through in this video. Um, and part of that you can actually see just there. That is literally a small portion of the computer haul I got today. Um, but before we get to that, if you hadn't noticed, I'm sitting right where my uh, Lego City used to be. Um, I've taken that down. I haven't demolished anything, I've just moved the buildings and whatnot in the safe storage. A lot of them are in the bedroom. A lot of them... I just need to unscrew my handle a bit, there we go. ...are stored up there on this new row of benches. Well, I say new, it's just the old, or the wood from the old benches reused. Um, because I decided on a change. I decided that the tables would look a lot better and accessing anything stored underneath the tables would be a lot easier as well as vacuuming the floor etc would be a lot easier if the tables went around the edge of the room so that's what I'm doing I've got the framework done for that side I want to buy some sheets of MDF so I can use that for the shelf and the top I'm not going to reuse the ply in fact I might reuse the ply for the shelving and use some nice flat MDF for the actual tops and I've got to add a few extra supports in there I nearly forgot about so that side's almost finished it's going to be a little table at the back there and um, that'll link both sides together it's going to be lower so I can put my uh, railway bridge in and I'll make a road bridge as well and down this side you can see I've only got the shelves here now that's where the bench was See, when I decorated this flat three years ago, I can't believe it's been three years, we didn't take the bench down, we just went round it, so that's the previous colour. And uh, they're the only two colours I've ever painted this lounge. So I may actually have to go over that. I'm good, I need a tub of magnolia anyway, because on this wall, I've still got a load of uh, old screw holes from the shelving that have been filled in. I've got to sand those down and paint over those. I've got a load of that to do in the bedroom as well. But uh, when I was planning to do that, lockdown hit and I just haven't got the paint to do that yet. Anyway, I've got a repair to do as well. I may film this. It's uh, down there. Can't see if I'm in the right place. Just bear with me a second. Yep. That outlet. Um, basically, what I did, this speaker that you can see the back of there, was up there on that computer. I stuck it up there because it used to sit on my bench that was here. So I needed to move that to take the bench out. The, uh, <laughs> the only problem was I forgot I put that up on top of my computer, sat down at the desk, nudged the desk, and speaker fell off and just went smack straight into that socket. Um, I wanted to take it apart anyway because I want to move the one underneath it. I want to put the one that's underneath it underneath the computer desk. So I want to move that one anyway. So I would have had to have taken that all apart. But now I've got to take it apart to put a new back box on. Which I've gone and bought here. Uh, that is actually one of those boxes that converts a single, as you can see from the hole just there. It's only as, it used to be a single socket. So what they've come along and done, they've used one of them adapter boxes to turn it into a double. But uh, I can soon whack an ordinary double over that. That's not a problem. Um, in fact, that would make life easier. This bit of trunking is actually for something else. I've got the cable to extend that as well, which is why I actually bought a spare length of uh, earth sleeving as well. And I found this uh, little air compressor thingy as well when I was hunting, not hunting, moving everything out. So, uh, nope, just turn the screen around because I can't see you. Yeah, it was hiding behind all the leg. I thought I'd actually gotten rid of this. Um, it's meant to be for like um, airbrushing. But I've actually lost all the attachments and whatnot, unfortunately. 
so I can't actually use it as that but um, my stepdad actually gave me this so I could dust down the um, Lego City a bit easier and like I said I thought I'd gotten rid of this because I hadn't been able to find it so I haven't been using it to dust down the Lego City but now I've got it does it tell me what the voltage in is? Was it a 12 volt? Oh, that's great. It doesn't actually tell me. <laughs> but I'm going to presume it's going to be 12 volts. I'm going to have to find an adapter for that. Also, I've acquired another bicycle. Um, I bought it a week ago today, actually. Well, my brother did. He bought it for me because I didn't have any cash at the time. But he got it from a friend of his who's had it sitting in his garden for I don't know how long. Um, quite a nice giant. In fact, I liked it so much I've actually sold one of my rallies and I'm actually thinning down my bike collection. Over 20 is just too many. I don't really want to sell any of them because I do enjoy riding them when I do get them out to ride, but this um, particular rally that I sold, I bought it two weeks into lockdown Walked it from where I bought it from to Mum's, adjusted it for myself and then rode it from Mum's to here and never rode it again. And I just thought, what's the point in keeping bikes like that? I've got, or I had, no I have actually, got a full suspension bike here in this shed that I just don't ride anymore. Um, in fact, I've got one down at Mum's that I actually prefer, so that is up for sale as well and should be picked up tomorrow. I hope. Give me some space in the shed. Because that's the other problem. I'm running out of space. I'm going to sell some of the um, restoration projects I've got down at Mum's as well, just to clear some space. I'm never going to get to them. In fact, I think there's only two that I am going to keep. And that's going to be the Gents Rally Cycle I've got. Um, I'll restore that one. And I've got a Phillips, which I'll restore. Um, the Ladies Triumph, I'll take a few bits off of that for the uh, rally and uh, I'll just chuck all the bits that I don't want on, I don't know, Facebook Marketplace. I'd take a tether for the lot, something like that, I don't want a great deal for it. throw in a gents bike as well, I'll throw in the old Hercules because I don't think I'll get to that, I'd rather do up the old Phillips which is exactly the same size frame anyway, so right um, I'll do a video on that giant, it's white which is a very unusual colour for me, I don't usually like anything white apart from my computer case up there <laughs> and the other one I've got in the bedroom that I want to keep um, but it did need a fair bit of work, a bit more work than I thought actually. So it wasn't until I got it to mum's and put it up in my bike stand and then started, you know, examining everything. It's like, oh, there's a lot of uh, worn out bits and bobs. But like I said, I'll bring it home. It's nice and light, so I can bring it up here to the flat. I'll do a video on that one. Cause it's quite a nice bike. But. Uh, the bike I've been riding a lot, which has got my pannier bags on, needed new handlebar grips, as does that giant, and as does one of my rally mountain bikes in the shed. Unfortunately, Roy's, where I got these from, only had this set, which was 3 dollars I actually quite like these, but like I said, they only had this one left. Otherwise, I'd have bought three pairs and done all three bikes with the same handlebar grips. Never mind, maybe tomorrow I'll have a look in Wilco's and see what they've got. Right, I've also acquired one of these. In fact, I've acquired three of these. Um, this one is a carbon dioxide. And pretty much the reason I wanted some of these is because of all the old electronics I've got kicking about. Um, and I actually have to say, when my computer, when my computer's um, fan speed controller actually caught fire, it literally caught fire in the computer. It's quite scary because I thought if that actually went up, I wouldn't have nothing to even attempt to put it out with. Now I have. 
This hasn't got any um, wall brackets on it, so I've just got to stand it some way. <laughs> but uh, it's not been used, it's not been fired because the pin's still in there. So that's good. And the other two I've got are foams. Anyway. I'm gonna find a home for that. Right. Computers and laptops. Well, just over a week ago. I got the first haul, which I didn't film because there was so much of it. Um, it took me ages to bring it all up the stairs. Now I've actually sort of gone through most of that. Just a few laptops. There's 21 laptops and 18 desktop computers in that first haul. With a whole bunch of uh, other odds and sods like loose motherboards for laptops and desktops. Um, and I actually have to say about 95% of it did post, including the old laptops, so a few of them have issues and I'll probably just get rid of those, take a few parts off of them that I could use as spares and ditch the rest. Um, but now I've actually got this freaking lot to go through that arrived today, which I've still got to pay for yet. Look at this lot. There's a few bags behind me full of some sort of stuff, including two motherboards in boxes, which we'll have a look at. But I've got all these laptops. One, two, three, four stacks, which are virtually the same, I think. I have no idea how many is there. But I do know I've got eight desktops as well. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping any of these or breaking any or what I'm going to do with them yet. There is a Dell there. Right, where's my pointy stick? There's a nice Dell there. I wouldn't mind keeping that one for my Dell collection. This is an Advent. And I actually quite like it because of all this gump on the front here. I think it's like one of those media centre PCs. Um, I'm not expecting any hard drives or RAM in any of these. Pretty much the same for those laptops. I have got a universal power supply somewhere, which would be great to go through these laptops with. Oh. I think the sort of the, the newest would be a Windows Vista era laptop. There's a bunch of those in there. There's a few that I actually want to keep for my own personal collection. As you know, I've got private, you know, a personal collection in the kitchen of laptops, which is sort of overspilling into the bedroom. And the same with some of the desktops that I acquired, like these two. I'm also getting rid of a couple. There's actually a gaming rig in the kitchen I want to get rid of. A Windows XP gaming rig, that is, if anyone is interested. Right. I'm not going to move the camera. I'm going to leave you there because all I need to do is reach over. My leg's playing up at the minute. I've got crap in it earlier, so my calf is uh, a bit sore. Because I was an idiot. It cramped when I was walking up the stairs with my hands full, and instead of stopping, I kept going. And yeah, that that's, doesn't do you cramp a lot good. I've got three power supplies. Two of them are 500 watts. I think that's what this one is. It says model 500V or U. Yeah, 500 watt max. Don't know if they work. That actually feels quite light though. The brand is CIT. Never heard of them. Does anyone know if they're any good? But that will get tested. Um, what else have we got? I think we've got a crappy wind power thing here. Yeah. Wind power, 500 watt. Not the best. But if I decided to build anything up, um, at least I've got half decent wattage power supplies here. There's another one. What's this one? Is this the 550? I think it's the 550. Yep. PT 550W. 550 watt is the max output. You usually tell from the model number. What's this one? This is a point. So we've got three different uh, brands here. This one's got a big ass fan in the bottom. Hopefully, it's not a big ass noisy fan. Right, this is the last item. I have no idea what the hell this thing is. It's got cam link there, then it's all been ripped off. VMX 
2500 video processor enhancer stereo mixer so this has got to be, have something to do with um, audio so we've got the mic and even through that bubble wrap that actually feels rather cheap and chintzy Ooh, we've got the instructions with it as well that's good and we've actually got the device here with all the cables Okay, Camlink video processor slash enhancer stereo mixer. So we've got the camera input there, then we've got the idio. The idio? I've never heard of idio. Have any of you heard of idio? <laughs> ah. CD tape. Well, that proves how old this thing is. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that this would be when you record your audio and video separately and you want to mix it together. I'm presuming that's what this would be. It really does feel a bit cheap and chintzy though, but I suppose for like hobby grade or whatever you'd want to call it, that would be uh, good enough. I like said we've got some paperwork here for it as well. Not a great deal, we've got this, what's this? Lamber Group, Camlink Customer Services, what's that for the uh, guarantee or something? Two year guarantee card there as well. Something tells me the two year guarantee is not going to be uh, valid anymore. That was an interesting piece of kit. Why is it when you get something out of a box you can never get the damn thing back in? Let's stack this behind. That's bag number one. That's another two bags. Right, what else have we got? I do believe I've got three of these. Which are internal USB extension hub. Now I thought, no, I don't need any more, you know, PCIe. Or PCI I should say expansion cards but these are different these are sealed in the bags as well these are brand new but i'm going to open one i've got three of them i believe yep i can see the other two from here so I'll show you what i mean by these are actually different you've actually got a bay to put in the front of the computer to add usbs to the front of your pc so I would actually like to use one of these on a PC. Don't need to use it on that one. But I've got builds there. It's got some screws here as well. It's got the CD here. Driver CD. I'm guessing if you use that on like a Windows 10 build or something, you probably aren't going to need the drivers. Let me sit that around the other way, don't I? Close this. Yeah, like I said, there's uh, three of these little gizmos here. Boxed. This, I have no idea. It says PC lock. Secure your PC in a snap. A great useful tool. Oh, I see. I see what it does. You plug it into your USB and you can only use that computer with this plugged in. You unplug it, it locks the computer so no one else can use it. Which is actually great if uh, you work in an, an office environment or you've got like members of the public walking around. In the job centres that I've been in and other sort of places where the where there's computers, you know, where the public could potentially get to them, they have like a card that the employees have to put into the machine before you can get in. And I believe they even have to log in with a password as well. Right, what else have we got? We have 
wireless range extender needs got a bit wet because we got a bit of a drizzle earlier. I think I've got two of those. Got a Wi-Fi power line extender starter kit. I've never used one of these. I have seen them used. Um, but I've never used one. In a flat like this, you don't really need to use something like this. Or this. Um, 30 quid for that. Still got the price tag on it. Because all of this stuff came from a, um, a shop clearance. Uh, I've had PC stuff from clearances from this particular computer shop in the past. Because... Uh, the guy I know that does all this stuff has done clearances from there before. But this time was the final time because the shop owner has closed the shop. He's working from home now. So, all sorts of stuff. What have we got here? Graphics. Multimedia 3D Graphic Accelerate. 256 megabytes, 128-bit DDR. So this is quite an old one in its box with cable and driver disc yeah, this is something you probably want to put on like a Windows XP machine or something to upgrade it I actually don't have a use for this so I'm going to make sure this works that might end up on eBay if I don't decide to uh, Put it in the cupboard with all the other video cards I've got. What have we got here? This feels quite right. It's another tender product. Oh, I see. It's a wireless PCI adapter. Now, I do like to keep hold of these because they can be quite handy. Yep, we've got the disc and we've got the Wi-Fi card. I'm going to need to set up a computer to use as a guinea pig rig so I can uh, test all of these. your high speed capability. Oh, these might actually be different. I thought they were all the same. No. So I've only got one of those USB doickies, but I've got three of these, I think, from the looks of this. Oh, hang on. No. I think they're the same thing, but I think these might be a different brand. Yeah, it is. Internal USB extension hub is an, is an unique, that should be a unique, combination of USB front bay and USB PCI card at the back, which provides most convenient, and that's where it shuts off. So the English on this is not very good. <laughs> yep, that appears to all be that appears to be exactly the same as that one. I've got the PCI card, the same sort of bay. Even this disc looks exactly the same, and a set of screws to fix it in the bay. I'm trying to put that one in its sleeve with one already in it. So I've got four of them. Just three are. So I think the boxes from this side look. Turn that one up the right way. Oh, <laughs> that might be why it looked different. <laughs> I was looking at the back. Right, last bag. <laughs> Probably my favourite bag, to be honest. So, I actually have no idea what this is. It just says Mini Android Player DV111D. Smallest Andros Intelligent Play and Turn Internet Browse Freely Support to Flash 11 Built in Wi Fi Download Available Blah 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 So 
Do you connect this to your phone? What cable in here? Got two cables in here actually. USB and what looks like an HDMI cable. Strikes me as a bit strange, that one. Never seen it. Right. I know there is some kind of weird video card in here, but these are what interest me the most. And I don't know if it's what's on the box, so I'm just going to turn around actually. <laughs> Shall we have a look? So it should be an ASRock FM282A68M-HD+. We've got I.O. Shield. We don't have a processor. Oh, it's got a nice foam pad on this. So we have actually got an Asus motherboard in an ASRock box. So this is an Asus A68HM Plus. It does say as yeah, it does say as rock on the case. Um, can't see what the processor type is, but that's certainly an AMD socket. And I should have something to fit in that. Uh, six gigabyte a second SAYA. Dual graphics. How does that work when there's only one graphic slot? Okay. PCI and mini PCI. I, oh well. <laughs> We've got four SAR connectors, 24 pin power connector, UEFI BIOS. I think we have USB 3 front header. We have USB 3 on the back with HDMI as well. We've got an HDMI out there. Actually, not a bad looking mud board if it works. Unfortunately, it does not have use for that. Although, it wouldn't be a bad idea to keep that around as a spare board. Or, as it's a micro ATX, I could do a micro ATX build, as I've got some suitable cases for that now. Who knows? What I do know is, I'm going to put it back in its static bag. I'll try and get the foam down there to protect it as well. And uh, put it back in the box. So, I'm wondering... I'll stop rattling that plate, um, plastic before I speak. <laughs> I'm wondering if the computer shop used the board from this to change this to, you know, for a customer. And they just put the old board in this box. And the fact it's in an anti-static bag, and they put this with it as well, would tell me this board probably works. So, we'll button that one up and we'll pull that over there. We're nearly there with all this gump. So this, according to the box, and I'm doubting this is in there, is a Biostar Smart. BIOS Online Update, BIOS Flasher, an A780L3C. Allegedly. Like I said, it may not be what's in the box. Although with this, we do actually have, this could be it actually, because we do have the Biostar disc, we do have the Biostar manual, we do have two SAR cables, we've got the whole lot in this box, we have got an IO shield, and we have got a motherboard which also looks to be an AMD socket. I actually quite like the look at this, I like the red on this. It is the BIOS, it is the right motherboard. 
So in that case we've got practically a brand spanking new motherboard here that I need to test. Yeah, that's an AMD heatsink bracket. Um, at least I've got the manual so I know exactly what processor I've got to put in this. It'd be great if it's I can use the same AMD like that 6 core I've got because I know that works. But I'm giving a good look. Another micro ATX board. I have no idea what that RAM is. Actually that looks like DDR4 to me. I'll have to... Uh, before we go on to the laptops and whatnot, shall I actually have a quick look at the uh, manual for this? But one of those SAR cables looks like it's still sealed in the bag. It is. It hasn't been opened. You know, if I was a computer shop and I was closing down, anything like this, if it worked, I'd have kept it and put it on eBay. I don't understand why they would let it go to clearance. Let alone pay someone, you know, to clear it. Uh, let's clear CMOS. We'll do that. I want specs. That's what I'm looking for. I've never seen a motherboard manual that folds out like this, like a big old leaflet. Uh, it actually has a serial printer port connector on the motherboard. I kid you not. That's what the big long pink connector was. Power connector... That was DDR3. Supports 512 meg, 1 gig, 2 gig, 4 gig, 8 gig, DDR3, 800, 1066, 1333 and 1600. Does it actually tell you in here what the max RAM is? I tell you what, that is not easy reading that damn thing. Socket AM3 for maximum watt, 95 watt processors. Sem AMD Sempron Phenom 2 Athlon 2 processors. Probably dual core processors only then, which I'm pretty certain I do have. So, I can test this. Which will be great. I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm not doing it tonight though. I might do some laptops later, I don't know. And the last thing is just a crappy graphics adapter. Yeah, yeah it's just this PNY driver disc in there. Is that what should be in the box? According to that, yeah. See, it's just a little... Oh, it's an AGP adapter as well. Holy moly! Do 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 do. Tuck that in there. Get your bum in there. Get in that bloody bag. Thank you. That's what we got to do. Got to swear at. This box looks a bit beaten up though. It's weird that a computer shop still got this kicking about. I thought I'd have gotten rid of something like this years ago. There's the box. Now my brother lo likes collecting things like this because he likes to display them. Because he likes to box art. I don't particularly like that one but... Chuck right. So, I've, I don't know with these laptops, I really don't, I don't even know how many is here. What I'll do if I remember, I will count these and put that in the video description. All I know is, there's a lot, although I am happy. There is some IBM ThinkPads in here. They seem to be quite hard to get hold of. These, they're only old Windows XP era type laptops, but... I've wanted something like that for a while, so I'm going to be 
over the moon if they work. Just chuck that up there out of the way, shall we? Right. Ooh. These are the desktops. One of these has actually got a motherboard in it which actually has um, some USB 3 so um, ports on the back. But I can't remember which one. And there's some pretty nice cases here as well. Another Cooler Master case, similar to the one I put my second Intel build into. I don't think it's exactly the same though. Uh, that one's an HP Pavilion. I think I've got something similar to this already in the closet. We've got any other OEMs? We've got that Dell there. No, the others don't look like OEM computers, to be honest. We've got the Advent, Dell, HP, unknown, unknown, and uh, very light, that one. And what's this one? Does it have a name on it? No. Okay. Don't really know if I'm going to use that, but... <laughs> Who knows? I think it's this one that's actually got the USB 3 sockets on the back. It's either this one or that end one. And for some reason, someone stuck a big Apple sticker on this HP. I've seen these stuck on laptops. In fact, I think I've still got the laptop where that's stuck on. Anywho, you know what, I think I might do the laptops in a second video because I think this has gone on long enough. So, I'm going to end this video here and call it part one. In part two, we'll uh, see what laptops are here. So, thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!